Good afternoon. I'm Stephanie Harris with your Wavy TV 10 headlines. A former Virginia Beach school board member will not be reinstated until the outcome of his residency trial is decided. Joel McDonald represented the Rose Hall area before the board ousted him earlier this month. Ten on your side was told McDonald moved out of the Rose Hall district. His trial date is set for April 11th. Police in Norfolk say the robbery of a Brinks armored truck was an inside job, and they've arrested two people. Joshua Mercado and Keith Doty face a string of charges, including larceny. Police say the pair staged the robbery just after 11 Tuesday morning on Granby Street. A Brinks employee told detectives that a man wearing a motorcycle helmet robbed him at gunpoint, but officials say that employee, identified as Mercado, helped plan the robbery. Colonial Downs has withdrawn its application to build a remote gambling site in the Greenbrier section of Chesapeake. The company wanted to build a Rosie's Gaming Emporium on Rainbow Lane off of Battlefield Boulevard. Now they're exploring other locations and hope to find another place to build. They've already broken ground on a Rosie site in Hampton. On the day that ODU plays Purdue in the NCAA tournament, the Monarchs are remembering one of their greatest players. Ten on your side has learned former All-American ODU basketball player and local coach Leo Anthony has died. He was the third highest scorer in Virginia history and was a member of the Hampton Road Sports Hall of Fame. He coached at Granby, Maury, Princess Anne, First Colonial, and Norfolk Academy. You can find all of your headlines throughout the day on wavy.com. Our next newscast is at 4. Have a great day.